everyone, Ronin back. We're gonna be checking out Nemophila again. We're doing Dissension. This name came up a, a few times in the in the comments, so we're gonna take another dive into it. As far as the uh, the Japanese bands that I've been checking out the past week, uh, Nemophila felt like they were like the heaviest of, of the ones that uh, we were checking out, but I'm also interested in seeing different versions of what we heard, or if they go into different directions, I like to see like where that goes. It seems to be the same uh, live performance, and uh, and I guess this is a festival that's particularly for all-girl metal bands, which is actually really amazing. But uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see uh, where, where these girls go next, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump on in. This is Sick. Holy shit. Man. Such a insane scream. Mm, nice. Oh, shit. I like that part. Okay, before they melt my face with this, I just want to point out I really love everybody doing the backup vocals. There's just something that's just like really awesome about having really heavy music and then having like these pretty female voices on top of that. There's just the the contrast between the two sounds together. It just does something. There's some there's some magic in it and uh, and they pulled it off beautifully. Man, I love I love some of the guitarists in it. I'm actually really interested in hearing this uh, like the studio version of this cuz I kind of feel like sometimes with live with with uh, lower guitar tones, sometimes a little bit gets lost, and I would like to be able to hear it a little bit more clearly. That's something I would actually be interested in listening to. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually, that's my favorite part of the song. Reminds me of Bring Me the Horizon, Happy Song. Whenever they do like the, the cheerleader part. That's what it kind of reminds me of um, on that. That was a cool song. Yeah, again, I would love to hear it, the studio version, just so I can see if I can hear the guitar parts a little more clearly. But the parts I could hear clearly is was pretty awesome. And I love whenever they would slow down the tempo and just like really made it like, for me, that's like the perfect headbanging type of tempo is like right there. Anytime they like slowed down to that tempo, I was, I was in there. It's just really, the energy in here is like really amazing. And, uh, and you can just see on their faces, like as they were going through certain parts and like singing along with it, not just on the microphone, but out away from the microphone, they were singing along with it. Just, you could see how much fun they're having. And, and I think that has a profound effect on the audience. If you yourself look like you're having a blast because it makes you, it's infectious. It makes you want to have fun too and have fun with them. I think so far, this is my favorite song from them. It had a few more things from uh, that it had to offer for me. For, for them, it's lighter. I like the lighter parts when they were going into the into the choruses and kind of showed them, yeah, we can kind of make this, you know, we don't have to get down and dirty all the time. We can make it a little pretty and, and get into that. And uh, and I enjoy that. You know, I enjoy being taken to, to new places and it's like, okay, we give you a little taste of this and now we're gonna go back over here and, and do some of that. And now we're gonna shred and we're gonna melt your face off and then we're all gonna sing together and really fun song. I enjoyed that very much. I hope you enjoyed the, the reaction. Feel free to, to suggest some more songs to me and I'll see you next time. <laughs>